Early in the morning. Early in the morning. In the morning. What's going on, the people? Them issue your boy Cam Topical Juice, and I'm back with a really, really quick video today. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm laughing yet, but it's just, it's just this. Listen, what's going on with footballers right now? What's going on with footballers, their families, whoever it is, yeah? Footballers are down bad right now. I'm not too sure if it's target a baller season, you know what I'm saying? I'm not too sure what it is, but footballers and their families seem to be getting, well, they seem to be getting targeted recently. And as you can see from the title, Phil Foden, I don't know, in fact, I'm not too sure what I'm going to title this year. Either Phil Foden and his mum gets into a fight, or Phil Foden watches as his mum gets beat the hell up, man. <laughs> Listen, it's not even funny, the Big Man T is actually not funny because the whole, the story itself is not funny, yeah. But like, people are really like defending Phil Foden, like, oh yeah, like, why are you lot cussing out Phil Foden? Like, it's great that he protected his mum. Did he? Like, did he really? <laughs> it, it looked, it more, from my point of view, yeah, it looked like his mum protected Phil way more in it. That's literally why I find it so funny because like, it's not that she held you know, a licking or whatever, I held a beating or she got hit, nothing like that, that's not funny. Violence in general is not funny. Violence towards women is not funny, do you know what I'm saying? So, but it's just the fact that he didn't do shit all to stop it, do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my opinion, but let's get straight into this video, man. Like the video for me, hit the bells be notified for me, smash that subscribe button for me, and if you want to support your boy's merchandise, it's in the description below. Now, as I said, and as you can see from the title, and as you've probably seen from social media anyway, Phil Foden and his mum got into a bit of a ruckus, right? Got into a bit of a scrap at the Amir Khan and Kel Brook fight. Now, listen, oh, listen. All I'm saying, yeah, she she threw some some he some heavy shots. You know what I'm saying? She threw more more overhand rights than than Amir Khan did. You know what I'm saying? He held a beat down. <laughs> he held a beat down from from Kel Brook. You know what I'm saying? Kelly Brook. So they were at the fight. Phil Foden, his mum, his family were at the fight. And in the video, right, it looks like. Phil Foden's trying to take his family, take his mum away from some sort of madness, some sort of altercation, some sort of harassment. So as you can see in the video, um, she, like he's t he takes her into like another room basically, right? But then as the kind of video progresses, some, a group of lads here, they're kind of like harassing them outside the door. Now what happens is, is that Phil Foden's mum throws the first bang from the video in it. That's what it looks like. It does look like she throws the first kind of swing or push. She's obviously irate. She might be a little bit tipsy, who knows? You know, I think she kind of does this loopy kind of push like thing. And the guy go, the guys goes stumbling back. As in, these men, yeah, that end up throwing like punches or whatever at Phil Foden and his family, they are pathetic, by the way. Like truly, truly, they're just drunk, drunk messes. They, they, can't, they ain't got no hands, they can't fight. Yeah, literally. Phil Foden's mum just pushed him or whatever, and he was like, boop, boop, up, like Bambi on ice, like skating all over the place. So then he then comes back and then tries to swing at her on some drunk, sloppy, you know, them loopy, sloppy bangs, you know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, and obviously that's that's the, a no go. Yeah, that's a no go. Now, that obviously, first things first, yeah, she shouldn't have pushed him or hit him or whatever as well. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, we have to look at both sides here. I do not condone women uh, violence against women at all. Do you know what I'm saying? But and the main reason for that is because we as men are physically stronger than women. Facts, as simple as right, right. So it's almost like you know the same way you beat on a child or you beat on an animal. Like you're beating on someone that you're physically weaker than. So it's not a good look. So I'll never be a fan of of um, violence towards women. But of, of course, yeah, there's 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 grey areas to this, you know. If a w women have hit me before, you know what I'm saying, I've never hit them, hit, hit them back. But as in, even girls at festivals have thrown hands on me. I've had girls spit in my face before, and I've not reacted. Yeah, if a girl spits in my face, I've got every green light to slap her face and knock her out. But I can't lie to you, that's that's the reality. Spitting in someone's face is disgusting. It's foul, right? It's it's, it's extremely gross. So it, I didn't do nothing. I was well within my rights. To slap a girl if she did that, like when she did that, but I didn't do that. But I was well within my rights. I don't care what anyone says, right? If a girl's punching on me and slapping on me, I've got the right to defend myself. I wouldn't do it because I know I could do damage to a girl if she does. Do, if, if, she, if I did do that, but men are well within their rights to react. So from one side of the argument, his mum shouldn't have put hands on the guy in it. Like, and I don't, I don't know what happened beforehand, the harassment beforehand. Listen, there's bare sides to every story. I'm firmly on their side in it. I'm for, in my opinion, from what I can see, it clearly looks like these are drunk, harassing these lot. Hence why Phil was taking a mum into another room, etc. The harassment continues and then she throws hands. In real life, I rate you for that, innit? You know, in real life, if, you, if you're, if you, you know, if, you, if you're backed into a corner and you, it's fight or flight, 
you went into fight mode. Respect, innit? Respect. But in the eyes of the law, in the eyes of kind of fairness, she she threw first, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? So I say all that to say, what can you expect if someone throws back in it? Do you know what I'm saying? If someone hits your mum back or whatever, he's well within his rights to defend himself. However, right, the main point of the story here is, bro, Phil did fuck all, bro. <laughs> He did absolutely nothing when his mum got hit. Absolutely nothing. Like, I'm sorry, that, like, he did nothing. Like, he, some people in the comments were saying, like, no, no, he backed his mum. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Literally, like, the video, yeah, like, they're stumbling over. There's a, there, some, some guy from Phil's, what, a guy wearing a black t shirt from Phil's team kind of comes in. He's, he looks like he's about it. Then he's like, kind of, he, he's, he melts. He's kind of like, not really about it, trying to break it up. And then the, his mum wants more smoke. So Phil Foden's mum's coming back through the crowd like, on her on her crud, on her grease, which I respect. And then obviously the guy's then pushing her back and then and then Phil Phil comes round around the back of the video on some like on some like <laughs> don't know what he's doing. I have no idea what he's doing, but Phil, you're weak. Yeah, Phil, you bottled it, man. You're like, bro, your mum has literally been holding bangs here yeah, to her head and getting pushed and getting getting molly getting getting moshed, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Getting like a mosh bit, getting moshed in the crowd, getting moshy bashed, yeah. And you're sitting here flicking up some little on the back, like on some. Your mum's at the front line, like what? what what's going on here? <laughs> like, you know, me and my mum don't always see eye to eye, and that's not, you know, that's family for you. But if I saw someone push her, if I saw someone punch her, <laughs> you couldn't pay me to get off the person that did that. Do you understand? So if I've seen that, all I'm seeing is red. Like if people know me, or if you lot know me, yeah. You know what I do for my friends, innit? I've seen my friends, whatever, in predicaments, and I'm the first one to let, to end it. Do you know what I'm saying? If you know, if you know, if you know, you know, innit? I'm the first, always, always has have been, and always will be. Yeah, people. That, I don't even know. I don't, fam. I'm the type of person that doesn't even need to know the context. Yeah, I can find out the context later. Man, I shoot first, ask questions later. That's the simple as. If I see my friends in a predicament, I will provide a solution for that predicament promptly. Do you, do we understand? You get it. So it's one of them ones, you know. And then if my friend, if I find out my friends in the wrong, we can cross that bridge afterwards, innit? But I'm riding anyway. So the same thing applies. If I've seen that happen to my mum, you're done, innit? <laughs> you're done, completely done. I'm riding out completely. So for you to not, I'm so I'm just judging Phil Foden, innit? But listen, Phil, you know, I, I see from things from every side. Phil's a rich man. Again, I'm not justifying it because I'm, I'm just trying to view it from different sides, like. Phil is a good you in it. Like he's used to having peas as a kid, and him and Greenwood getting things on in their hotel. He's a good you, like flashing his cash and that. Like he ain't about it. Do you know what I'm saying? He ain't about fighting or smoke or nothing. He's whatever. He's a good you. So and you know he's obviously got a lot of rich jewelry on him as well. Probably a lot of rich clothes. You probably don't want to fuck it up in that. But listen, listen. If you can't get, if you can't, if you can't get amped up for your mum getting moshy bashed in a in a in a in a corridor, then I don't know what you can get up for, boy. You know what I'm saying? But. At the end of the day, my thoughts are with his family. You know, I'm, 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 I'm having a little bit of fun with this one. But at the end of the day, I don't condone these actions. I don't condone violence really at all uh, anymore. And I really hope that his mum is safe and protected and things like that. I just think, as a, as a man, as a son, you could have done a lot more in it. Do you know what I'm saying? And kind of hiding behind your mumsy. But listen, big up mumsy. She was on smoke. She was, she, she wasn't, she, she wasn't having none of it. You know what I'm saying? So respect to the Foden family, apart from Phil and. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, but let me know your thoughts. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you lot in the next video. Peace.